Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can draw the structure of alkanes. The first thing I want to talk about then is what actually are alkanes. And the nice and simple answer to that is a saturated hydrocarbon. So if you can't remember what that is, I'll just run through it very quickly for you. Saturated means it only has single bonds and a hydrocarbon is something that's made up of hydrogen and carbon only. So if we have a look at an example, here I've got one carbon connected to four hydrogen atoms. We can see that each of those bonds is a single bond, I haven't got a double line, and we can see that it's made up of only hydrogen and carbon. Therefore, those two things together make it an alkane. If we have a look at a second example here, you can see I've got a double bond in the centre, so straight away it's not an alkane, and you can see it's not just made up of hydrogen and carbon because it's got oxygen there, therefore it is definitely not an alkane. A quick way to remember that alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons is to have a look at that letter in the middle and put the word same over it. So alkanes are all the same. It's just a little rhyme that helps me to remember if I see methane, propane, it's got that A in the middle, they're all the same, so they all have single bonds. Okay, let's move on to how you can actually draw the alkanes then. So I've got two main rules before we move on to it. Number one, remember that all carbons make four bonds. So remember, carbon has four electrons in the outer shell. It needs to gain four electrons, giving it a valency of four, meaning it can make four bonds. The second rule is just a little memory exercise to remember the order of the alkanes. And I remember it by using monkeys eat plastic bananas. So if you're given any alkane, so for example, methane, ethane, propane, or butane, this tells you the order and therefore how many carbon atoms there are. So methane has one carbon, ethane 2, propane 3, and butane 4. So if we had a question which said draw the structure of ethane, we piece all these bits of information together. So the first thing, how many carbon atoms? Monkeys eat plastic bananas, eat 2. So we put two carbon atoms in. The second thing is we remember that all carbon atoms make four bonds. So we draw four lines from our carbon atoms. Now this is saturated, so we must all have single bonds. So I draw a line between my two carbon atoms, that's one, and then three other lines coming out to make four bonds. I do the same for my second carbon atom, so again I've got four bonds coming out. I make sure they are all single bonds, which they are, and then I've got a hydrocarbon. We know that, that's what an alkane is, a saturated hydrocarbon. We know we've got two carbons, therefore the rest have got to be hydrogens, so I'll put hydrogens on the end of all those bonds. And as you can see here, I've got two carbons, which is C2, six hydrogens, H6. So my formula is C2H6. If we have a look at butane, monkeys eat plastic bananas. So I've got four carbon atoms this time. So I'll place those in. Valency of four. So I need to have four bonds from every carbon atom. So as you can see, I've filled in every carbon atom here has four bonds. It's a hydrocarbon, so fill the rest of the bonds out with hydrogen. And therefore, my alkane is complete with C4H10. And that really is everything you need to know for this video. So let's see how much you've picked up. So I've got a couple of questions for you. Number one, draw and write the formula of propane. So remember, monkeys eat plastic bananas. How many carbons do I put down? It's a saturated hydrocarbon, so all single bonds. And then fill the rest out with hydrogen. Number two, explain why propane is classed as a saturated hydrocarbon. So it's worth three marks here. So the first thing you need to mention is what does saturated mean? And the second thing, what does the word hydrocarbon mean? So pause the video, have a go at the question, and we'll see how you've done in a little while. Okay, let's go through. So draw and write the formula for propane. So the first thing we need to remember, propane, monkeys eat plastic bananas, P, I've got three carbon atoms. So I'll place those out. It's an alkane, so I'll put single bonds in between my carbon atoms, and then I make sure that every carbon has four bonds coming out of it. So we look at the one on the left, there we go, there's four, same in the middle, and same on the right. Then we remember it's a hydrocarbon, so we fill it out with just hydrogen now to complete it, and that completes my structure. So you'll get one mark for that. Then the second mark is the formula, which is C3H8. On to question two. Explain why propane is classed as a saturated hydrocarbon. So what does saturated mean? 
single bonds. So you get one mark for saying single bonds. And then the second marking point is what is a hydrocarbon? Something made out of hydrogen and carbon for one mark. And then the word only for your second mark. And that's everything for the questions. I have got a review for you, which is to draw and write the formula for pentane, which has five carbons. And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.